Okay, going to take a look at the uh, edit filter. Uh, there's a lot of questions come up about how to insert envelopes and such like. That is done via the edit filter, which is new to uh, X1. And the first thing is, uh, I'm going to uh, expand a track here that's got a few envelopes on it. Uh, and to get the envelope filter to show, for some reason, custom uh, widgets as the display by default, you need to change that to something else such as all, which actually shows the widget. And if you uh, want to keep that as uh, a default preference, you just need to save, change that and save that off as a, uh, as a template or your normal template. And it'll always be the all that comes up then. But anyway, there is the edit filter. You can see it currently says clips, which means that anything I do over here is going to relate to clips as opposed to envelopes, as you can see, which are ghosted. So you can clip on, uh, click on that and switch to audio transients for auto snap, or you can select automation from there. And as you can see, it jumps to that particular envelope. My preferred method of working, though, is uh, to forget that over there and actually use the HUD. That can be called up either by pressing T or clicking on the middle mouse button. Either way, you end up with a HUD and you can then select the edit filter from there. Uh, once you've got envelopes, as we have here, you can shift click on them to activate them. Now, one thing I'm hoping that Cakewalk do is uh, enable some sort of pop up on mouse over. As you can see, I've got my mouse over the envelope, which is ghosted, and I can't tell what it is. You actually have to shift click on it, then it'll pop up. And as you can see, so does the uh, pop up to say what it is. But it'd be nice to be able to see it without doing that first. And that's how you shift click between the various types of envelopes. As you can see, just literally shift click on it, or indeed shift click back on the clip to get back to clip mode. Okay, so that's a quick way of shifting between envelopes. Uh, and also something that's uh, another tip that I picked up from Scott Garrigus on the forum the other day, you can use the shift and right click to switch between the last two modes that the uh, edit filter was in. So if I make that the volume uh, envelope there uh, with a shift left click and I'll shift left click that one that's a uh, chorus send level and now if I shift and right click you'll see it jumps between that volume and the chorus send level so that's a quite handy tip from going from the last uh, state or last two states of the edit filter okay right so uh, I'll shift click on the shift and left click on the clip there to bring the clip up to insert an envelope it's simply a matter of bring up the HUD by your uh, or the edit filter over in the track pane, but I prefer the HUD as I said. I just middle mouse click, bring it up, go to automation, and we'll insert a pan envelope. Now, here's a really uh, good trick that works on any of the envelopes. If you want to uh, set nodes at selection, you left click and drag in the uh, timeline. And as you can see, it selects it, and you don't need to put any nodes there at all. In the top uh, sort of 25% of the clip up here, you I don't know, you, well, you can't see that from the video program, but the cursor actually changes from where I am there, it's showing as the uh, envelope uh, cursor. As I move up there, it's just changed to the select cursor. Once that's changed, you can left click, and as you can see, it inserts the nodes at the selection. And then you can just drag that down, up, wherever you want to set that. That's a very, very quick way of setting nodes at selection. Left click, drag the timeline, click in the top 25% of the clip and move it down. You don't even need to add the nodes. It's already done for you. Uh, another really neat trick as well is if you clear the selection, Control Shift A, so there's no selection. You want to move a whole uh, envelope up and down. I'll select the, I'm going to shift click, select the volume there. You want to change the whole envelope again top 25% of the clip make sure there's nothing selected left click and drag and as you can see the whole envelope is going up and down and that's a really nifty trick for that so just remember it's uh, getting between the various edit filter settings automation envelopes clips audio transients uh, is via the HUD or shift clicking on existing envelopes as you can see that's a very very quick way of moving around Right, I hope that uh, helps somebody out anyway. Thanks very much.